Well, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. I want to be in the 60s. 60s yesterday, 60s today, 29 tomorrow. <coughs> Me and Jack are on our way to pick up a couple of knives. One is from that restaurant we went to last week, and one's from a lady. It's a pocket knife, a fancy pocket knife of some sort. And then I'm going to stop by the fabric store, see if I can find some table covering for this big gun show coming up next month. I got two gun shows. Not two, well, two, yeah, but shit, let me start over. I got one in March, one in April. I repeat from where I was last week, a week before last. <clears throat> I'm getting a little better. I went to the doctor. <clears throat> I got some drugs Saturday. I got bronchitis again. <clears throat> I had bronchitis once in 2009, and then I had it a relapse in 2012. <clears throat> I said if I ever got it again, I'd shoot myself, but I forgot to do that. But I wish I had. My stomach is so sore from coughing, it's unbelievable. <clears throat> okay, me and Jack gotta go. We'll get back to you a little bit. <clears throat> okay, I might as well tell you the rest of the story. <clears throat> I got no memory at all. Uh, Friday or Saturday, I think it was uh, Saturday, one of my neighbor's daughter lost her grandmother's heirloom ring off her finger playing ball in the yard, about six houses down from where I live at Rancho Max. Well, me and Danny are going to go by there at 11.30 and look for it. It's only like 10 now. <clears throat> and, you know, it's in the back of the yard, so it, it was just lost, so it ought to be easy to find. But that's, you know, you know how that goes. I'll give you an update on that later. Stand by. Well, we just picked up the pocket knife. <clears throat> it's a Protec. I've only seen pictures of them in magazines. It's got some scratches here and there. It says it's a 703, but I don't know. Automatic. I like it. There's the fabric store I'm going in to pick up the fabric <clears throat> or look at it anyway. Yeah, my little sports bar had a Dexter boning knife. The tips broke off of it. I think it's one of them uh, chefs kind like you buy at BJ's or Sam's. I don't think it's a Dexter. Yeah, bakers and chefs they call them. I, if you remember I did a bunch of them the other day for a uh, fruit of Okay, I'm going to go get Mr. Denny, or he's going to meet me at my house, and we're going to go look for that girl's ring. Big old Jack. Uh, let's go home, he said. We're here looking for that ring <clears throat> in this yard. I got the ring man with me. There's, there's where it was, right, right in there. Two minutes, there it is. Ring man. <laughs> he can find him, buddy, I'll tell you that. Well, <clears throat> the sun's gone, the wind has picked up, and the temperature's dropped. Big old Jack says, I'm glad I'm in the house. We got the knives finished. And of course, you know we found the gold ring for, I say we, uh, the, gold, the ring man found a ring for the girl. Young lady, <clears throat> family heirloom. We got the uh, boner nun. We got the Santuco done. <coughs> and we got the, uh, <coughs> hold on. We got the uh, automatic Protect done. Oops, I got it locked. I greased it up a little bit too. I don't think this camera does too good on close ups. But it's nice. It's 
Okay. See you. I don't think we'll see you tomorrow. I think it's going to be too bad. We'll have to see how it goes. Good luck, everybody. We'll see you.